Salam everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today we're diving into something really cool and essential, the stress in Tatar words. Trust me, this is a game changer for your Tatar language skills. So in Tatar, the stress usually falls on the last syllable of a word, no matter how long the word is. As an example, let's take the word uram, which means street. The stress is on the last syllable om, uram. Easy, right? Now, if we make it plural, it becomes uramnar, the streets. Notice how the stress moves to nar, uramnar. Now let's make it even more complex. Uramnarda, on the streets. Again, the stress moved to the last syllable, da. Da is the suffix that shows the location. Where? On the streets. Uramnarda. Let's try another one. Matur. Beautiful. Matur. The stress is on the last syllable. Tur. Change it to matur look. The beauty. Bam. Again, the stress shifts to the last syllable, look, matur look. But hey, there are some interesting exceptions to this rule. In imperative verbs, which are those commanding verbs, the stress jumps onto the first syllable. For example, osha, eat, silegis, talk. Questions also follow this pattern. Words like nerse, what, nindi, what kind, kaida, or where, all have the stress on the first syllable. And don't forget the verbs with the negation suffix m in them. For example, kilmediler, they didn't come. Min ichmim, I won't drink. Also, stress the first syllable. These are the main exceptions to the rule. Of course, there is more to explore and I will cover the rest in the future more advanced lessons, so stay tuned. So to sum up, in Tatar, the stress falls on the last syllable of a word, except the imperative verbs, question words, and negative verbs. That's it for today, guys. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe for more fun and informative Tatar lessons. For now, so will the slut.